Alright, going over number 19. Wait, are we looking for meters or stories? Ha ha ha. What's nice is that the picture's already drawn. Today when we do our lesson, we're going to have to draw the pictures ourselves. But the picture's already drawn here, so that's quite nice. Um, Emily, sine, cosine, or tan? Tan, very good. <laughs> Zach. Tan of, oh, uh huh. Tan of 50 equals opposite over adjacent. Say was the key word. I didn't say anything, right? Show it or something. Okay, where is X located? Numerator. Multiply 30 times 10, 50. That'll get you the answer. Moving on. Oh, I might cut the calculator. I might be on the wrong setting. Oh, okay. Maybe it was on the wrong setting. Okay, next one, 22. A kite string is 100 meters long. Let's draw a kite. There's a kite. There's a string. There's the ground. Find the height of the kite. Huh, that rhymes. Height, kite. Find the height of the kite. If the string makes an angle of 38 degrees with the ground. The string is 100 meters long. Where do I put 100? Hypotenuse. On the string, Stephen. <laughs> okay. John, sign, cosine, tan. Good answer. Opposite. Hypotenuse, very good choice. Sign is the right answer. Sine 38 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Allison, multiply or divide? Multiply. I'm going to move on. Is that okay? 100 times sine 38. Moving on. Next one is 25. Maybe? I know. 25. Good problem. So, first of all, we are tempted to say that sometimes when we draw altitudes that it's also a median. In this picture, is the altitude also a median? No. Probably not. No, because it's not an isosceles triangle, 55 and 47 degrees. It's not isosceles, therefore it's not 9 and 9. It's not a midpoint. Well, that would be too easy. X would be 18. That would be silly. So let's just make sure that we're clear on that. Um, what do you want to find first? The height. Good, John. Let's find the altitude first. What do you want to call it? A. I heard A first. A for altitude. So let's find A. The only side we were given was 9. So we're going to have to use the triangle that involves the 9. This problem is going to involve a few different steps. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. So A is opposite. 9 is adjacent. adjacent. Tan 55 equals A over 9. It's hard to distinguish my A from my 9. All right, where's the variable? Numerator. Numerator. 9 times tan 55. And we get? 12.85. Is that an answer? No. Or is that an in, it's in progress, right? So let's just keep it in our calculator, okay? Where do you want to go next? Let's do, let's do Y. Let's do Y, because then X is going to take a couple more steps. So let's do Y. We are now in the green triangle. We know A, and we know 47. So we've got opposite, and we've got hypotenuse. We're looking for hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse. Sine 47 equals A over Y. Where's the variable? It's denominator. Denominator divide. So take what's sitting in your calculator, press divided by sine 47. The most exact answer we can get is 17.57 if we round to the nearest hundred. Very good. So there's Y. Well, it's not exact because we rounded it, but we didn't round on our way to getting that. That's the best we can do. That's the best we can do. All right, that next. Is the right answer. That is the right answer. Yeah. The right answer. The next one we're going to find, what do you want to call this? T. We need a letter. T. Okay. So that's T. We're going to find T next. What are we going to use to help us find T? Nine. Oh, you I like the we can use Y or A. It doesn't matter. Which number is sitting in your calculator right now? Y. Y. You want to just use that since it's sitting there? Yeah. Because we, we'd have to retype all of A again. 
Your your A is sitting in the center. Cosine. Well, it's the my Y. Yeah, you just go up A three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna use what's in our calculator. So we're gonna say, because we haven't used cosine yet. We feel bad for him. Let's use cosine. He feels so left out. Cosine forty-seven equals T over Y. Where's the variable? Numerator. Y'all are so good at trig. Okay, so now we're going to multiply. Take what number is sitting in your calculator and do times cosine 47, 11.9859. How do we get x? You add, add 9 to it. Very good. Plus 9. We get 20.99. Is that, that was the exact answer listed in the answers. 20.99. I bet if we would have rounded as we went, we wouldn't have gotten 20.99. If you would have rounded T, it would have made a difference. Mm -hmm. It would have made a difference. Yes, Zach. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't tell me. Yes, Zach? Did you have a question? Okay, I still have 28 to do. That was fun. Yeah, wasn't it? That was fun. I think you've had a good attitude. Is this fun? Find the measure of angle J in the right triangle. Okay, let's plot. Everybody plot with me. Two, two, call it J. Two, negative two, call it C. And seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative two, call it L, JCL. Why? Why those letters? I have no idea. That's my question. Okay, find the measure of angle J. Who has an idea? Caleb, what's your idea? Uh, you can find the distance between J and C and C and L. Very good. So in the coordinate plane, you can count vertically, you can count horizontally. Which way can you not count? Diagonally. You cannot count diagonally. And we don't feel like doing Pythagorean theorem unless we have to. So let's use the ones that we actually can count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, four, four and five. How do we find angle J? Tan X Tan J equals opposite over adjacent. Are you allowed to do second tan? You are allowed, but we're not looking for a side. We're looking for an angle. We're not looking for the missing side. Catherine, did you ask about this one? Are you good now? Second tan, 5 divided by 4. What would you get? A 51 degree angle? That sounds great. Okay. Going over the homework is over. Get your notes out. Notes. And title.